What's up, Copy Squad? It's your boy Kyle Milligan of KyleTheWriter.com, and today we're going to talk about can you improve copywriting skills or is it all talent? To get good at copywriting, it, you have to treat it like a language and it will pay you like a business. Like, treat it like a language and it will pay you like a business. Immerse yourself. And what I mean by that is don't sit around reading theory about copy, read copy. And that's what we do in my book, Take Their Money. I actually show you sales letter examples from high producing, high grossing sales letters that have made a ton of money. And then I show you the, the language of copywriting within the English language. So a lot of people think copywriting is really easy and they think it's like basic because it's written in plain, simple, basic English, but you're missing the entire language if you think you're reading English. You're reading a persuasion language that speaks directly to your emotional brain. And that, again, is a skill. That is not a talent. No, if you're really charismatic, right? Let's say you're a really charismatic person. You're gregarious. People think you're funny. Like, that also, people are like, oh, what a talent. No, that's a skill. It's a practice. Someone was speaking. Someone ran their mouth all the time. And they started to see when people were like, oh, I don't like that. And then they saw when people laughed. And they just started doing more of the things that made people laugh, and they became funny. That's kind of how every skill works in the world. Like, you're kind of just molded by your experiences. Other people, instead of just doing the things that make people laugh, they get like one or two hits of someone saying, oh, that wasn't funny, and they just shut down, they go in their hole, and they disappear forever. That's their choice of how they deal with it, right? And at the end of the day, they, they could have improved that skill of communication. They could have improved that skill of being more personable, or they could shrink away from the challenge and become like, they can just be like, I'm an introvert. I am an introvert, Kyle Milligan, and on this camera, put himself with the word, I am an introvert. I get absolutely drained by large crowds. I don't like busy places. I like to kind of like sit in my cave and write. That's what makes me happy. I am an introvert. I like video games. I like solitary activities. But I can get on the camera and I can talk to you because I've been practicing every single day. Now it kind of just flows from me. Like I know all I really need to do is tell you that copywriting is a language, baby. No one else is talking about it like that and they should be. Pick up my book, take their money at kylewriter.com forward slash book. I'll teach you how to write the language of copywriting and write those words that really make you rich. Let's talk about really quick how to learn copywriting because it is a language. It is a language that you must practice and you must immerse yourself in. So I'll give you three quick tips. I've, I've dropped these a couple times before. Read a piece of copy a day. Write a page of copy a day. Come up with an idea a day. Those are my three things. I stole that from Joe Schrafer, the publisher at Agora Financial. So basically, you can knock all this out in like one fell swoop. So what you can do, okay, so reading a piece of, po piece of copy can be a whole promo if you want, or it can be like a section, a couple pages, maybe you spend like just like 30 minutes on it if you want, and then you just kind of stop. All right, and then the next thing you gotta do is write a piece of copy. So that's read a piece of copy, write a piece of copy. Writing a piece of copy. I say write a page, and you just, it don't have to be anything that you use, it doesn't have to be like one solid page for a sales letter, it could be like a, a simple advertisement, it could be like a couple emails, anything like that. One thing you can do is combine one and two by hand copying that piece of copy that you're reading till you fill a whole page of a piece of paper, and then in the margins, start actively marking that up. Active reading is what I call it in the book. You want to do active read and find the persuasion triggers within the English language. The English language is different. English language communicates with logic. It communicates information. Okay, so the third thing is come up with an idea. So uh, write a piece of copy, read a piece, read a piece of copy, write a piece of copy, come up with an idea a day. Does not have to be like one of those fabled big ideas. You don't have to come up with an idea that changes the world. For instance, every day I try to, I come up with a zillion ideas a day and I, I throw pretty much all of them in the trash. Uh, they never really get executed on. And basically, I'm just always keeping my ideas like, what if we did this? What if we did that? I say in the book, always be asking, what if? So, for instance, I've been, I've been juggling around this idea, what if I change the title of my book? That's like an idea. Like, what would I change it to? Uh, it's something to be less scandalous. Because right now, it's take their money, right? It's a very aggressive, kind of salesy sort of thing to have as a book title. I'm worried that maybe cold traffic might not look favorably upon your boy, even though I do all sorts of like goodwill and free content and free value and stuff like that. Um, maybe when someone sees that for the first time, they might not think I'm a very like uh, reputable uh, source of information or something. So I think, well, what if I change the title? You know, what if I, what if I went a different route? What if I went something that was a little less uh, aggressive? 
So, I mean, just little things like that. Just come up with an idea, pursue it, see where it takes you, and if you, and at the end of the day, just throw it away if you don't want to use it. But you should always be thinking up new ideas, thinking up stuff you can try. And you'll see me drop new ideas all the time in these videos. I'll be like, oh, I just had an idea. But at the end of the day, okay, the question is, are master copywriters born? No. Saying someone was born into that talent is a bit insulting because it takes a lot of practice. It takes a lot of repetitions to build that skill. It's not a talent, is what I was trying to say. Uh, the best copywriters in the world, dude, they are constantly reading and constantly writing. If you want to improve your copywriting skills, write a page of copy, read a page of copy, and come up with an idea a day. Uh, those are three easy copywriting exercises that pretty much anyone can do. Um, as far as learning copywriting, this tip I've got for you there, don't read about copy, don't read a bunch of theory. If you read like one or two copywriting books, like how to copyright, or like read like, um, you know, everyone, like is it, they give you like this laundry list of copywriting books, like read all these books. Dude, you can read like one or two, and then you need to start applying it, like immediately. And you need to, then you need to focus all that effort on reading copy and not reading about copy any longer. Like, uh, that's, that's one of the things, like, if you just have a couple tools in your tool belt, like one of my favorite promotions to show new copywriters is the hottest IPO. And you'll notice that copywriting is a skill because when I wrote the hottest IPO, that one is a very remedial sales letter in my opinion. Like I basically just lean on quotes after quotes after quotes after quotes because I wasn't really sure how to go find proof or how to be very creative with finding proof or what kinds of proof were out there. It was after building the reps and reading more copy and reading more copy, right? It's a language. After I learned more than just a basic vocabulary, right? Just going out and getting quotes from like other news sources. Once I learned how to speak the language better, then I could find better proof. And you'll see that as, as my career goes like I continually have more sophisticated copy right that's because it is a skill it is not a talent I didn't I didn't just wake up good at copywriting matter of fact I I wasn't I didn't know anything about copywriting when I started at Agora a lot of it was just practice 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 and fantastic mentors around me who could tell me when I was screwing up like immediately like as soon as I screwed up if you want to learn how to write the words that really make you rich Go to kylethewriter.com forward slash book and check out my book. Take their money. The other part of that is research. Um, I do have research courses on that page as well. If you're interested in grabbing those, they'll teach you how to go find stuff like that. Proof. Like that proof stuff is important. If you make a claim, man, you need people to believe it. Proof. Remember, master copywriters are not born. Copywriting is a language. You need to immerse yourself in it. You need to practice. Like that's how you will learn how to speak very fluently. Um, it is not like it's like saying you woke up one day and could just speak Japanese and you're so talented No, 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 you had to put in some time and an immersion and that's why copywriting and comparing it to a language is like the perfect It's like the perfect analogy copywriting is a professional language. No one's like born a natural accountant No one's born a natural lawyer sure they might be able to like be a little more critical thinking or maybe like I don't know, more attention to detail oriented kind of person or something. But at the end of the day, those are skills, those are professional skills. And a lot of these get rich quickers don't want to treat copywriting like a professional skill, which it is. It is. And if you become like a really good copywriter, you'll make a lot more money than a really good lawyer. Well, <laughs> there's a opportunity to possibly make more money than a really good lawyer, but you've got to rise up, man. You can't just read one of those books on theory and be like, I'm a copywriter now, I'm gonna go make a ton of money. Gotta practice, gotta immerse yourself in the language. That's all I've got for you, Copy Squad. Thanks so much for tuning in. At the end of the day, remember, copywriting is a skill, not a talent. If you want to learn how to improve your copywriting skill, go to kylethewriter.com forward slash book. Check out my book, Take Their Money. Peace out, Copy Squad.